Pierre. Regarding security. An equal force of Vanier. Kratos, Freya, welcome back. Vanier. Lady Sif, Freya, it speaks volumes seeing you here in person. The first of the Aesir to visit us in peace. Really, your majesty? It's the capacity of the Vanier's forgiveness that speaks volumes. We know Asgard was more than Odin and his Aenir Yar. If they'll help us rebuild, they're more than welcome to stay. Aesir and Vanir living together. I never thought it possible. I imagine a severe lack of options for the Aesir helped ease things along. Oh, Mimir. It has truly been a pleasure not listening to your prattling commentary for the last hundred winters. Well, excuse me, milady. A hundred winters of Mimir bleeding at court? I think I'd rather be exiled. Indeed. Oh, the stories I have. Really? Do tell. Well, everything appears to be in order here, diplomacy administered, and all's well. Let's leave these two to the planning, shall we? Back to it, then. Where can we set up the farmsteads and the granaries? <laughs> we don't do that kind of thing here. This realm provides us what we need. What if the winter is harsh? Or if the food spoils? Then we hunger. And we learn. Perhaps had you not burned Freyr for trying to teach you... I did not light that fire. But I was there to witness. Even in death, Odin's legacy of poor leadership endures. Working together, we can break that cycle faster than apart. You saved them, Freya. I did nothing. No. I did nothing. Scratching tally marks into a cell while the world ended around me. You returned to your people. You endured their hatred. You helped them become more. Freyr and his soldiers... They survived. They endured. But there's a reason the tide turned when the goddess Freya returned home. Your love of this place... I can feel it. Smell it in the breeze. Anyone can. That love makes you strong. Makes your people strong. It's why you won. I... Thank you.